This is how you open your mind to a whole new level. I got to a point where I was meditating so much, so much, you know, hours, one to two hours a day, and I'll be focusing on my third eye for so long, where it got to a point that you wouldn't believe. Yeah, it's obvious, yeah, it's obvious, hands to the sky, eyes wide unified. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease, it's obvious. And today, we're gonna be talking about the third eye, the pineal gland, and that is why I am wearing my amethyst. The amethyst is great for activating the pineal gland. And I got some wrapped crystals on my site, it's obvious.com forward slash merch. But that's not what we're talking about, I'm not trying to sell you stuff, I'm just letting you, letting you know. So I talked about in my video two weeks prior about what the pineal gland is so great for, right? We talked about how it, how it is a gateway to higher dimensional consciousness, to psychic experiences, and for inner wisdom. How do you exercise your pineal gland, your third eye, so you can get more of these psychic experiences, more of these astral projections, more of these lucid dreams, more of this higher dimensional thinking. How do we get more of this? You gotta do these exercises. See, there's a lot of different exercises that you can do for stimulating your pineal gland, which is located right here. So that is super duper, super duper important that you know that the pineal gland is right there, located right there. I will be showing you guys today three different methods for activating and stimulating your pineal gland. So what I would do is I would lay down and I would get comfortable and I meditate. I would first begin with meditating for a, I mean I would recommend you meditate for about at least ten, at least 10 minutes at least ten. I mean I've done it with less but 10 minutes is pretty good because that way you can get focused you can get your awareness more pinpoint accurate and you can settle down your mind and this is what you need to do so that you're actually your brain frequency can reach a better vibrational state and so 10 minutes of meditating breathe in breathe out keep your awareness completely on your breath and then once you have done this for 10 minutes what you're gonna want to do is bring your awareness to your pineal gland your third eye and it might be difficult for you to understand what it feels like to be stimulating your third eye first. You actually won't know what it feels like to do it. As your eyes are closed, point your eyes up, like look up, look up with your eyes closed. Do it right now. You can try it right now. And you will feel a slight sensation right here. You will feel it. So. Meditate for about, it doesn't really matter how long you wanna bring your awareness to that center. Go as long as you can, go as long as you can. The longer you go, the better it's gonna be, right? It's kinda like double awareness, double focus. You're focusing on your breath coming in, and you're focusing on your breath coming out. But at the same time that you're doing this, you're also keeping your awareness, your focus on the, just the pineal gland. Once you even got to a point where you can really feel it, you can really feel your pineal gland and you're looking up, you can actually stop looking up. You can stop looking up. The second method for activating your pineal gland is another technique. So what you can do while you're meditating is as you breathe in, you picture this energy coming through your pineal gland every time you breathe in. So. You feel it. You feel this energy coming in. You picture. You you visualize. You know. You don't. You don't even have to get a crystal clear visualization of this energy, just to get a rough idea. So you 
visualize this energy coming in as you breathe in and as you breathe out picture it coming out every time you breathe in picture it coming through your pineal gland every time you breathe out picture it coming out of your pineal gland so this is another excellent technique which has definitely helped me stimulate my pineal gland very much and then we'll move on to the third method and the third method is a more advanced method because you're not focusing on any visualization coming in or out you're not looking up to get a sense of where the pineal gland is all you're doing is just focusing on the point between your eyes that's it so it's like it's like simpler because it's not really getting into the visualization and your eyes aren't moving around you're doing you're doing nothing except for meditating and keeping your awareness right here that is the third technique you just keep your focus keep your awareness on the center between your eyes and i'm gonna tell you something you can get really really good at this and i even did at one point i got to a point where i was meditating so much so much you know hours one to two hours a day and i'll be focusing on my third eye for so long where it got to a point that you wouldn't believe so what happened was i was meditating for so long and this pressure on my pineal gland intensified so much so much where it felt like the craziest pressure you can imagine to have like in your head or in your pineal gland it was such a crazy pressure i always say this it's like having an anvil just sitting on my forehead like it is an absolutely crazy feeling to have your pineal gland stimulated super to the extreme max <laughs> and this is actually one of the things that helped me astral project and that will be in another video but you can really get to a serious point of this pineal gland activation stimulation where it will feel like the craziest pressure like you got this crazy weight that is on your forehead and it will feel absolutely insane but that's okay that's all right you're not you're not hurting you're not actually in pain or you're not gonna be hurting yourself this is good this is how you open up the portal to higher dimensional consciousness this is how you open your mind to a whole new level comment below any of your experiences with the pineal gland activation did you ever open your third eye what is it like what is your experience when it comes to opening your third eye what is it like comment below let me know so here's a video about how to meditate here's another video and then don't forget to subscribe right here peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's obvious